Weddings are events that deserve to be recorded with an artistic touch and Kajal met up with a Durban-based photographer who works with light like a portraitist wields a brush. Meet Anand Govinda. One of Durban's top wedding photographers elevates wedding photography to the height of fine art and fashion. With an artistic attention to detail, lighting and composition, Anand has an eye for capturing a celebration at its best. Cameras are so accessible to us today. We literally have them in the palm of our hands, in one of these. But to capture a beautiful moment isn't as easy as point and shoot. It's all about timing, mood, lighting, having a good eye, and of course, your subjects. Anand Gavinda has mastered the skill and has taken it one step further. He and his team create a series of photographs that aim to bring to life the stolen moments on your special day by coordinating the event and capturing each and every smile. With a flair for capturing special moments in a beautiful, romantic style, Anand considers himself lucky to be able to share this time with the bride and groom. Redefining the art of wedding photography, he believes that couples that smile together stay together. And for Anand, it's evidence of a lifetime of happiness. Smile, you too. Keep it safe. Someone's at the door. One moment, please. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for sure. having us. Am I interrupting a photo shoot? Well, yes, almost done. So it's not too bad of an interruption. The bride's going to get ready for a change of garment and we're going to take it to the next step. Well, you both look absolutely spectacular. Arnon, how long have you been doing this for? Look, as a professional photographer, the bug has got me for almost more than three decades, 30 odd years. It started when I was a young boy in grade three and it has never left me. So you've had this burning passion for a very long time. I mean, what did your parents say when you eventually told them, this is what I wanted to do as a career? Now that you ask, my dad's a professional photographer, well-known photographer called Baba Governor, who's still in the industry, had his fair share of it and I got it from him and I can't stop it. Well, I remember your dad. I mean, most of my school photographs were taken by Bala Gavinder. So, did you ever study photography? No, I've got all this knowledge from the family tree, from the family at home, the, the knowledge from the house, as one would put it. This is where it all happens. Now, you photograph a lot of events, and particularly weddings. What do you look for when you photograph a bridal couple? Weddings is about themes. Themes is about coordination. This is important, this particular bride had a modern wedding with a fair amount of tradition. In this particular case, we had a cross of cultures, which was a Hindi and a Tamil combination. And they merged the two to be this beautiful couple that have been now married. Of course, you can see him all dressed in the Rajasthan, bringing in the Hindi, and she's in a traditional Hindi outfit as well. Three important things is contemporary, modern tradition. Very important to have in a wedding. I'd like to try my hand at taking a photograph, with your guidance, of course. Of course, naturally. Come here, we go. Strap this over you. It's quite a heavy baby. That You're is a heavy You're going to get your hands baby. there. Yes. Keep it there on the base. There Looking up there. Compress the shutter. Keep it nice and tight. There and we go. Now, Anand, you take a lot of graduation photographs. Am I correct? At the moment, I photograph something like 40 or 1,000 graduates annually all over South Africa. Soon enough, we're going to be going to Africa because that's where all the market share is and we want to get some of that as well. Now I'd like your take on this. Many people have smartphones and cameras are built into these phones and with all the apps we have available to us, editing apps and photograph apps, people sometimes consider themselves amateur photographers. Do you think that this negatively affects the industry or perhaps inspires people to take up photography? The smartphones don't affect my kind of industry. The kind of industry that I work in is professional and you would need a professional, you need a society photographer, not just having something stick up in front of your face. It works for something that you want to use at home, the amateur stuff. Yes, uh, it's good, it, it, it keeps you busy. You certainly can't, well, maybe you could, maybe I shouldn't say you certainly can't start a business with it. You could become a budding photographer, you never know. It has been done, it has been proven. People have produced magazines with smartphones and, and the photography works. But let's just see what happens in future. It's digital, let's see what happens. Well, Anand, I am not going to keep you and keep these lovely people. I'm going to give you back your baby and we shall Very catch nice. up in a bit. Okay, Thank good. you. <laughs> okay, guys, let's change positions, please. Back to the camera and looking at me. Keep there. How are we doing here, Mr. Looking good so far. Are we getting Anand nervous? and his carefully selected team use a non-traditional approach to the wedding. 
They focus on images in an editorial, storytelling fashion, preserving the moments in a truly artful manner. The journey begins well in advance of the couple's wedding day, starting off with a selection of the wedding book and achieving the right look for the heirloom memento. You know that is, this is what it's made of. This is what brides and couples. There we go. That's it. Now, Anna, you cover a lot of weddings. How do you manage to capture all the moments and so many different angles? It's it's a day's job of production work, production planning, team planning. Uh, it's it's not only me. It's a team that's behind you in the studio that have to run this place and make it successful. It's a lot of patience in getting what we need, and it's a lot of effort put in to get that perfect wedding story. What makes the perfect photograph? Kajal, you know, I haven't found that one out yet because the picture that I took yesterday was perfect and the picture I'm going to take tomorrow could be perfect. So your best picture is just as good as the last picture that you've taken and it could go on and on forever. Now I believe you also coordinate the events as well as take photographs. I'd rather say that I'm a creative director. It's, a, it's, it's the word to use, direction over weddings, telling brides like this young beautiful couple. This is the way we're going to be doing it. For this couple I'm going to be handing her Monday night, a wedding day, a reception evening and I've done just about everything from the shoes, the garments, the venues, the food, the priest. That is what the direction is all about, where I understand, conceptualize, and deliver. That is what the passion is all about. It's more than just on and I take pictures. Couples wait for this precious moment for years, and for Anand, everything about this most important day has to be a story of love, celebration, and family. What advice do you have for anyone wanting to become a photographer? The advice is far and wide. Uh, budding photographers of today, rule number one, it's about patience. Rule number two, this work is time consuming, so follow the guru, follow the footsteps, and be patient. It is said that passion drives excellence, and this is clearly evident in Anand's approach to his work. He's a highly sought-after creative, and after paying him a visit, I can certainly see why.